First off, tell me your name and a little bit about you. My name is Peyton Kristen. I'm a senior at Kennesaw, uh, I almost said Kennesaw High School, a senior at Kennesaw State University. Um, I am Miss Coosa Valley and also Miss Flint River 2023. So what made you decide to get into pageants? Uh, it was just kind of a fun thing me and my girlfriends decided to do. We saw the application for Miss Coosa Valley Fair and I'd never done it before and I knew I was going to age out so I decided to sign up for that. And what age was that? Uh, it was just this past October. Oh, so that was your first pageant yes, ever? Yes, that was my first pageant ever. So um, we signed up for that. And we had a lot of fun doing it, just as girlfriends do. And I, I was, you know, grateful enough to walk away with that title. And what high school did you say you went to? Armorch. And after high school, you picked Kennesaw State. Why KSU? It was actually Valdosta State University. So that was my first choice, and I went there for about a year. And I just decided I wanted to be a little bit closer to home. I wanted to be involved more in my siblings' lives, and they were finishing high school and and just helping around the house and we were moving homes too. So being closer to home was more important to me. So that's why I transferred to Kennesaw. And your major? Uh, biology. So um, what do you want to do with that? Uh, I'm hoping to head off to PA school soon. Hopefully once I graduate this May, I'll get into Mercer University and their PA program. So that'll be really exciting. So obviously with the pageants, you, you do a lot of helping out community service. Tell me about some of your projects. So my biggest project is Cooper's Chance and it's a focus um, for a push on a spread of Availability for special needs education programs all around the state of Georgia and hopefully the nation. Um, it's just really important and it stemmed from a story of a family friend of ours, um, Cooper, who was uh, diagnosed with Williams disease and it's not something everybody knows a lot about right now, so it's kind of a newer diagnosis. Um, and he has two older siblings that go to a private school in Atlanta and they didn't have a special needs education program, so he needed somewhere that was close enough without having to move his siblings um, and he'd be able to ride the bus with them but also be able to you know advocate for him and, and his own personal special needs so they actually started a special needs program in that school for him. And how has the pageants and, and whatnot allowed you to, to further this and just further giving back to the community as well? Um, absolutely just in, in um, social connections and personal connections that you can through the pageants. People hear about Miss Georgia and they're immediately interested. So it gives you a platform to stand on and, and something that people really start to listen to when they hear, oh, Miss Georgia, you're competing for, you know, in the Miss America system. Oh, maybe we should listen to what she has to say. So it's just been an amazing platform to stand on. How much practice goes into these things, especially things like Miss Georgia? Oh my gosh. Hours, days, months, uh, as much time as you can put into it being a full-time student um, because 90% of us are that are competing for Miss Georgia this year. So that's really exciting uh, for me personally. I will be done in May and be able to really hunker down on a lot of my talent training and a lot of my interview prep and, and getting all those things ready. When is Miss Georgia? It's June 9th through the 19th, but the competition days are the 15th, 16th, and 17th. What kind of tips or encouragement do you have to give for girls that may consider doing this kind of thing in the future? Dream big. Um, that's my biggest thing that I've learned personally just through years of auditioning for random things and doing local theater shows here and there and, and trying to get acting going. If you're ever going to put yourself out there like that, always dream big, big and just really focus on believing who, in who you are and, and trusting in your own abilities. Any websites or anything you want to promote? Do you have websites people can get, you know, find out more oh, about yeah, you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, my Instagram is Miss Flint River Georgia, um, GA. So if you want to look into that, there's a lot of links to the Miss Georgia website, the Miss America pages, um, a few of our fundraising that we're doing before Miss Georgia starts up. So if you want to check that out, then.